My name is Steve Sarowitz, and I'm here to talk a little bit about my Baha'i journey and how the Baha'i faith has influenced my life, my work, and my philanthropy. I'm here at my office today, and behind me is a picture of Abdul Baha. Abdul Baha was known as the master to Baha'is. And as Baha'is, we strive to walk in his way. He was our exemplar. And what was his message? That we were all one human family. Compassion is not just compassion for your immediate family or your community. Compassion is compassion for every human being on the planet. Compassion is the understanding of the oneness of humanity. Too many people only fight for their tribe and their people, their religion, their nation. But aren't we one human family? Do we not inhabit one earth? Aren't we flowers of this gigantic garden, all created by the same God? And doesn't it mean that if we help one, that it helps everyone? When we start understanding our oneness is when we'll succeed. True compassion is not compassion for your next door neighbor but not your neighbor across the street. True compassion is compassion for everybody. Philanthropy doesn't work unless everyone is fully participating in the prosperity of their own community. Through the Baha'i process of consultation, we work with communities as humble partners so everyone can be a participant in making sure that there's justice, equity, and prosperity for every human being on the planet. Religion is an indispensable part of any effort to unite humanity. Religion, according to the Baha'i writings, is the outer expression of the divine reality. Therefore, it must be living, vitalized, moving, and progressive. The Baha'i writings emphasize the need for global unity. This is the age with the communications and transportation where everything has been revolutionized. And shouldn't faith be revolutionized as well? How long will it take us to hearken to the call of the Master, Abdu'l-Baha, who over a hundred years ago told us that world peace was inevitable, not only possible, but inevitable. The Universal House of Justice, the highest Baha'i body, made this statement in the 1985 letter to the peoples of the world. Whether peace is to be reached only after unimaginable horrors, precipitated by humanity's stubborn clinging to old patterns of behavior, or is to be embraced now by an act of consultative will, is the choice before all who inhabit the earth. At this critical juncture, when the intractable problems confronting nations have been fused into one common concern for the whole world, failure to stem the tide of conflict and disorder would be unconscionably irresponsible. And yet, victory is still in our hands. We need to unify now. Ask yourself, what am I doing for peace? What are we doing for peace? It's up to us. We are all noble human beings. We are all part of the same human family. And we all have a role in the problem. And we all have a role in the solution. Over a hundred years ago, Abdul Baha said, the day is coming when all the religions of the world will unite. For in principle, they are one already. There is no need for division, seeing that it is only the outward forms that separate them. What the Baha'i faith has helped me to do is really look at every problem and say, what is the ultimate solution? And the ultimate solution is almost always a spiritual one. We need material and spiritual solutions. So what the Baha'i faith says, again, the, the marriage of religion and science, the marriage of the material and the spiritual, and the idea that Baha'u'llah says, let your vision be world embracing. And may we get there as brothers and sisters in a single human family. There's only one God who loves all his children and has given us the instructions that we need to live today. What kind of world do you want to live in? Do you want to live in a world that has war, strife, and conflict? Abdu'l-Baha said something quite beautiful. He said, we've had war for 6,000 years. He said, perhaps we could try peace. And if we don't like that, we could always go back to war. Thank you for giving me this opportunity today at the Parliament of the World's Religions. 
I wish all of you nothing but love and light in all your paths, and that we may come together sooner rather than later as one human family to make our world a better place for all of us.